what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we're gonna be talking about halloween ends here today and talk about some of the things that have been coming out recently from jamie lee curtis and david gordon green more recently a couple weeks back jamie lee curtis stated in an interview that the ending of halloween ends is going to have a lot of people i guess upset might have people agitated and have some people very angry uh what she stated specifically was that david gordon green alluded to the third one which is going to shock people it's going to make people very angry it's going to stimulate people people are going to be agitated by it and it's a beautiful way to end this trilogy now that's all i kind of knew i kind of knew from david only recently have he and i started to talk a little bit post venice film festival a little bit about the movie a couple little tweaks that i've offered but very little that you know this man makes great movies i just have to stay out of the way what she could possibly be talking about i don't know I, i'll tell you one thing as long as you stay away from jamie lee curtis's Lori strode dying in a fashion that resembles halloween resurrection or even somehow manages to top a ridiculous death like the way that character died in halloween resurrection i don't know how this could upset anyone <laughs> unless you're talking about having all of the characters die when i say all of them i mean michael myers Allison Nelson and Lori Strode all going up in a blaze of glory. I think that's pretty actually kind of dark. I don't think, well, I can see people being upset about that. I know a lot of you guys are big fans of Lori Strode, Allison Nelson. Of course, we're all a fan of Michael Myers. I know some of you stand those characters that are not Michael Myers. Some of you stand Michael Myers alone. Just want him to wreak havoc, wreak havoc. So if they were to end the movie with all three of them dying, I don't know if I necessarily would have a problem with it. I'd have to see how it's done because I feel like the only way you could really truly upset me with how a movie ends is if one, your ending doesn't feel earned. Two, your ending is completely just out of the blue, balls to the wall, crazy, ridiculous. And then the movie's just over. Like you leave us with a sour taste in our mouth that completely kind of contradicts everything that was leading up to this moment that kind of now feels detached from the rest of the narrative you were telling leading up to it. Or again, like I said, having something incredibly silly happen, which is Lori Strode dying in a silly manner, but you're trying to depict it as if she's being a grand hero for the town of Haddonfield. I cannot stand when movies do that. When characters are so adamant about sacrificing themselves or when a character goes out in a blaze of glory when it was completely not necessary it was completely avoidable but yet you chose to just do it for whatever reason i don't know it depends on how you depict it on screen sometimes when a character is willing to give their life for the greater good it comes off well i would say that dr sleep is a good example of that how it ended spoiler alert i won't go into any specifics just to save or just to respect the ending for those of you who haven't seen it but i don't know how they could upset anyone with the ending of halloween ends unless you have some really dramatically horrendously balls to the wall nonsense that goes on on screen and you have no type of respect shown what's whatsoever towards michael myers what he represents his mythos the character of laurie strode what she represents and everything she's supposed to have been dealing with and i guess trying to escape since the 2018 film and then also kind of shelving the character of allison nelson in a way giving her a a hollow narrative that kind of just ends this trilogy on a sour note i don't see how else you could upset us unless you do something silly like that there's plenty of other ways i'm probably just not thinking of them <laughs> so Another thing we need to talk about is what David Gordon Green had to say recently with the Empire Spoiler special podcast. He was talking about how this movie is like a coming of age film and I guess has a tone similar to the, the film Christine, which was also done by John Carpenter. So he started off by stating that he likes that each of these films have delivered different tones. And when he was starting to talk about Halloween ends, there's not a lot of games in it. There's not a lot of wittiness and retro joy. It's kind of a coming of age film and it's a very different tone. And that's what excited me about it is to have the three chapters that I've been involved in be very different from each other. They are all there to honor Carpenter, but aren't necessary just emulating him. So he also went on to say that he sent Carpenter the new draft of Halloween ends the other night. And he said, if it feels too Christine, let me know. For Halloween ends, it was just a love letter of Carpenter. It's more than just, hey, 
here's a character in the community that you've created. It's a here's an appreciation of your legendary body of work. So that last bit, of course, I'm sure it means a lot to John Carpenter. But the whole Christine aspect, feeling tonally like Christine, um, because, of course, there's not going to be a car in this movie that has a mind of its own and is going around killing people. There's no way on this earth they're going to have something like that. I don't know if they're trying to say that, that that Michael Myers will come off similar to the car in Christine. I haven't seen that movie in many years. The whole coming of age aspect depends on how you do it. Coming of age, age films like Stand By Me, um, current Netflix shows like Stranger Things. All of those type of narratives are always exciting and fun to watch. I know there's very nostalgic for a lot of us who grew up with those movies from the 80s. Some of you who actually grew up in the 80s and the early 90s. So when they say coming of age, the only thing I can think of is Allison Nelson standing tall at the end of it. Like I've been talking about, as I think she should, with the final memory of, you know, I'm the one who stopped the boogeyman. I'm the one who, while my grandmother helped me, she perished along with the boogeyman, Michael Myers. My grandmother was not crazy. I've lost my mother. I've lost my father. I've now lost my grandmother. But I've also taken out the thing that kept them down for the past four decades. And the thing that kept me in a mental prison for the past four years as I recovered from the trauma he caused me four years ago from the events of Halloween 2018 and Halloween Kills. And then whatever, of course, happens in halloween ends so i just don't know what else they could be talking about other than as i'm thinking about with allison being the one who coming out of this on the very end she understands Lori a little bit better than how she understood her from just how her mother was raising her up hey your grandmother's crazy your grandmother believes in this boogeyman she doesn't know what she's talking about now you're experiencing it now you probably have also lived with her because i'm theorizing that maybe she lives with Lori in halloween ends and this coming of age narrative is mostly about her because she, she again is the youngest one and i feel that the youngest should be the one to learn something here and carry that on with them into the future for a much better and peaceful life without michael myers away from haddonfield hopefully too but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below and these comments that they made if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course if there's any movies news or reviews i'm going to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video